Pete, here we go. Let's taxi down and let's do it again. First thing we do before we take off, take that trim, roll it forward. Forward to center. If there's a lot going on, it's busy, we can set and preset our flap to 20 degrees, but we're advanced now, so we can pull flaps off the ground. Big, a big common mistake, obviously, is putting our head down, looking for that stick, that flap handle, but the reality is, is that you know where it is through muscle memory. We practice flap handle back to throttle. That's good. We got four miles out here. I know, you know, you never leave up any in, any runway behind us, but we've got four miles in front of us. Left turning tendencies obviously are enhanced. Full power. Well, you bring a little forward pressure on the stick, get the tail off the ground, just a little slight right rudder. Good directional control. Let's bring the throttle. Let's not take off. Bring the throttle back. Bring the throttle back. Bring it back. Let the tail come into a tail low position. Bring the throttle back. We're almost flying right here. Back on the yoke. Don't let me help you. Bring the tail down just a touch. We're a little tail high. Good directional control here, Keith. You're going a little right. There you go. Maintain good directional control. So this is tail low. That's not tail down. See the difference? Put the tail down. See the difference? See the sight picture? Yeah. Bring it up just a little. This is our landing configuration. Nice tail low. Give it a little power so you can have the tail up. Push forward on the yoke. Just maintain directional control here. Let's just drive the airplane. This is you. I'm going to take my foot up. I'm helping you on right rudder right now. See how as I come off, you went left just a touch. There you go. And just bring the power back and do that a couple times when we're driving it. And then set the tail down. Give a little power, you can push forward, bring it back up. Look at this sight picture, right? Bring it up, tail low. Go a little power, bring tail high, and this show us what we don't like. A little more. This is kind of rotation attitude right here, right? You can almost feel it wanting to fly. Easy on it, easy on it. Just drive it around. Excellent. Equal pressure on the brakes. Of course, we don't use any brakes at all until we're at this point in our flying. We're about three hours in, four hours in, where now we get comfortable with our brakes with equal pressure. But if we have good setup, good power and energy management skills, we should be able to come in and touch down around 45. Beautiful. Let's go out. Let's full takeoff now. Go full power, tail low. Reach down without looking at the flap handle. Maintain good directional control here. This is where we get in trouble. A little more right rudder. Nice. And it comes right off the ground. You can let the flaps out. You can bleed. Then you can fix your engine. Power and propeller. Oh, good. What are you thinking about as you're running around? Think about my speed. I'm going to try and keep it around well, 80 once I make my left turn. And not getting too slow. Good speed around the corner. I love a pilot that moves forward and aft. You see so many people that are like locked right here. I'm also doing this for the video a little bit so people can see the difference. So we look here and we push out, we can see down the front and we can also look left and right. Maintaining speed. Nice squared up so we can see, nice. Day one, we pick a spot that we want to land on. Anybody can land on a four-mile playa, but let's pick a spot. Hit it. Make sure you hit it. Then we're going to roll up onto the mains. The point? Yeah, if you like the point, I like the point. Those that are watching, we like, we never bring in flaps until we hit at least 80. I don't want to rip those screws out of the flap. Nice, so speeds, right? Speeds in the pattern. We hit 80, 10 degrees of flaps. But we're light, I actually like 70 in the pattern, and then we fly the corners at about 65, bleeding speed all the way around, 20 degrees flaps at base. 
Once you know the runway's made, we bring in 30 degrees, then we bring 40. I always land 40 degrees. Things with these wagons, especially when the density altitude starts to come up, there's a sink, and so we arrest that sink with throttles. We always get our hand right back on that throttle. I love how pilots have the death grip. Look at that. He's got beads of sweat coming out. So this is a nice tail low configuration right here. I like this. Speed's good. You're a little slow, Keith. Look at your speed right now. Just glance at it. 40 indicated slow. But again, we've done so many stalls and whatnot, we know what we're doing. So I'm helping you with a little right rudder right now. Tail low, tail low. That's a tail high, but I'll take that. Yeah, we're bouncing. What do we do when we bounce? We arrest with power, bring the power back out, fly it back to the runway. Fly it back to the runway. Power out just a little bit, get down. Once we're on the ground, you can control the power as you see fit, but ultimately we're landing, so it's going to be power out, right? And so we can arrest this with just a little forward pressure, right? So maintain, good, we're going right. Don't let me help you. Nice. Nice, we retract flaps when we're on the ground for positive braking. Let's come off the ground, stay with 20 just for the sake of it. Now let's go 40, because we always go 40. Bring the power back, power back first. And I want to land in a three-point configuration like we talked about earlier, and we did. A little higher, right? So we're going to bleed it. A little higher, you're going to feel it. Odds are you'll even be tail first. A little slow, a little slow here, Keith, at this height. We need to be lower and slower. There we go. Maintain good coordination because we don't want to stall on final. Let's touch down right by that brush. You can hold it here all day long. You can fly this here because we did slow flight at this attitude. Bring the power back. Three point, all the way back. Oh, all the way back. Power out, bring the power back. That's a three point. Little power, roll it forward. Of course, we're full flops right here. Little right rudder, why are you going left? Little more right rudder, there you go. Just drive it. Nice, Keith, let's slip into this runway now. We can bring power back, we're going fast, we're doing 100. We're climbing 500 feet a minute. Hey, we're high. Power out, let's slip. Hard slip, you can do a hard slip. Power out, power out, bring the power out. When you hit 80, see how much I'm pushing in here? Yep. And I'm helping you here. So I'm going to take it off. You do it. A little forward, because pitch controls airspeed, even in this slip, right? At 80, reach down. Maintain this slip. Bring me 10 degrees. OK, now we're getting to the point where we got speed. Let's line it up as you see fit. Get coordinated. Get coordinated. Feel the sink. You only have 10 degrees right now. If you're going to land, we want full flaps. Full flaps. Full flaps. Right when you're on the ground, I want you to reach for that handle and retract it, but don't let it land. Remember right rudder on the ground? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's excellent. Retract your flaps. Get in that tail low position. Now control the tail low position with throttle. Maintain good directional control. Don't let me help you. Good, Keith. That's good. Retract power so it, the tail comes down. Retract all flaps. Retract all flaps. Quick. Bring the tail back. Full yoke back. This is where we'd go full brakes, but we're not now. So now let's go full power. We don't need to wear out our brakes. We know we can stop. We just have positive pressure on both. Push forward on the yoke so we can see. Tail low. I don't like a tail high. Bring in your 20 degrees left. It's telling you it wants to fly, right? Excellent. Power back. Do it again. Let's land again. I really like the feel of 20 degrees flaps when I'm flying because it just feels good. So now we maintain 65 indicated, which is great. You can maintain power here. Once we know we've got it right made, we bring in full flaps, add power, rest. Don't get super slow. Don't get slow. We don't want to end up in the sagebrush. You're slow. You're slow. Get a little faster. 35 indicated. It's really slow, but this big wing helps. This is all you. I'm not going to help you. Don't bounce. How do we arrest? We arrest with power and a little stick forward, right? There you go. Give it power. 
retract some flaps just to help. We bring, bring the flaps out. We retract flaps, still comes down. Nice. Now we can get down full flaps. You're going to get it in there. Power's back. Fly it to the ground. If you needed a little more airspeed, you can push forward, right? If you felt like you were slow and you wanted to be able to have a little bit of a better flare. There you go. We can power back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Full power. Let's go. 20 degrees just for the sake of a good directional control. We're going to go left. There's another lake bed right over here on the left. Right around this corner. Beautiful. Speed's good. That's 45 indicated. That feels good. Beautiful, Keith. That was the best landing of the day. Nice right rudder. Let's go full power. Retract to 20 degrees right here. Maintain straight and level. Pull it off the ground. This is just climb up. I'm going to be with you on this next one. This is a fun one. We're going to land straight ahead and we're going to go park on that hillside. So this is a tail wheel, tail low landing, right? Bring in 20 degrees flaps. Bring in 30 degrees flaps. Bring the prop out. Bring the power back. I'm going to help you with this one. Power back. We're going to settle in on that. We're going to land. I'll prop out or in. Prop, prop all the way in. Power out. Power out. Power out. Power all the way. Now rest with a little power. No power. Power out. Power out. A little braking. We're going to the top of the hill. Give me a little power to get up. There's a huge cliff right here on this side. <coughs> Make a nice left turn. Give me a little power. Retract your flaps. Helping you with brakes. Power out. Welcome to skate ramp. <laughs> How do you get out of here? Uh, we don't. Stay here. So what I'd like <laughs> to do is I'd like to shut down so you can see what we're going to do now to get out. Yeah. Because it's a really steep hill, but I'd like to get out and talk about it. All right. Cool. Let's get out. That's all right, man. This one's, this one's got me nervous. I'm going to help you. But what it, run through in your head real quick again. What do you remember? We're going to taxi up. I had a landmark of that, that sagebrush bush right there. Okay. We're going to taxi up to that guy. And then right there, we're going to go full power. But I'm probably better off just kind of rolling and going full power, right? I'm going to stop up yeah. there. Yep. But and the, the runway is going to... The runway dog leg is to the left. Right. And the hazards here are what? we got the cliff over here. 100%. So we're going to stay far left of that guy. Right. And then once we get over here in the site picture, we can see, you know, where there's no sagebrush, which is kind of where people have been taking off and landing. Yeah. With our level of experience right now, we've been working all day on, like, pulling them off. But because this is a new spot for us, let's just preset 20 degrees flaps. It's not going to make that much big of a difference for us on that takeoff. I mean, we still have forward pressure on the yoke. Tail low, right? Full power, drive it, just like you know. Full power here. Not full power yet. Let's get up to where you know where you are. I think it's right here. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Push forward, you're pulling back. Oh. Rip the stick off the ground, there you go. So that was good, you were just pulling back. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Yep, so retract flap, set up your engine.
that, Keith? How's that landing? That was the roughest one. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, gang. Reflection Pond. Doesn't get much better than that. I love coming here because you get this incredible reflections photo. Turn ranch. Nice, Keith. Good management here. Looking good. Give me a full stop. That's good. And you can go from there again. Great job. One more. We got Keith here and we just finished our tailwheel transition. We've done a little off airport flying. We did a whole bunch of stall spin stuff the other day. I'm freaking him out because I'm like traveling like a shark back and forth. That's his mean dog. Okay, mean. <laughs> Tell me about your experience, Keith. Did you have fun? Yeah, incredible. Um, What'd you learn? Rudder. Rudder, rudder. You know, learning, you know, learning my private pilot in a 1E2. You know, they don't, you know, you know the right rudder is important, but it's not as important as it is in the tailwheel. And it really helps you become a pilot that you're paying attention to the direction you're going in at every single moment. You know, without that, you're, you know, you're going to get toasted. What about, uh, we didn't all that slow flight the other day. What did you learn between rudder and aileron? Yeah, I mean, you made me fly, what, an hour and a half? Slow flight? Yeah. I feel like my bicep on my, my left arm is going to explode. But, <laughs> um, you really can't fly enough of that, and it's it's definitely something that I think if you go out and you just fly around slow and you know stay stay very um, precise on your heading and very precise on your speed and your altitude, uh, you really can't learn enough. Um, you know, the more time you spend doing that, the better pilot. And we know when we get really slow, the main input is rudder. Rudder, right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. I feel like every mistake that I made during the training, I feel like it was connected to the rudder. 100%. Whether it was on the ground uh, landing or taking off. Yeah, heck yeah. That was awesome. And then last but not least, when we get squirrely in the tailwheel on the ground, what's the first thing we do to save ourselves? What's our power. reaction? Power. Power, yeah. Power and rudder. What does power do? I mean, you know, pitch for airspeed and power for altitude, right? So if, you're, if we're sinking, coming in, and we're going to land, you know, the power keeps you, it keeps you off the runway a little bit longer. Power also puts that wind back over the tail flizzers, right? Mm -hmm. Gives us good directional control. Yeah. Right on, you're a tailwheel pilot. Yeah, I can't believe that.